I'm a real believer in that, you know, a patient's attitude and their psychological well-being helps them in their recovery from big surgery. We came up with this concept, jaw in a day, where we would remove a tumor from a patient's jaw, replace it with bone from their leg or from their hip or from their back. And in addition to that, we would add in dental implants and a dental prosthesis. It was important to try and do everything in one surgery. Prior to John a day, the time from surgery to reconstruction with teeth, on average, was years. Not months, but years. If I had to leave and I didn't have teeth in my mouth, I would not even want to look in the mirror. Front teeth are the support of the lip, and without that, the patients just don't look whole. And so it was a perfect, um, I think, operation for Tara, who had an aggressive tumor that was just right at the front part of her face. And at first I was like, this is scary. <laughs> you know, I don't know like really what to think about it. But he told me he's the pioneer for the surgery. And you are my first case at LIJ. We started to do it in Manhattan, um, but it had never been done out here in Long Island or Queens. It was really exciting to hear Dr. Hirsch's vision to kind of pull this all together. And I said, this is great, I'm in. And over the 10 years that we have been doing this, we kind of push the envelope of technology. Combining the art form of surgery with 3D printing and 3D technology and the computer-guided uh, cutting guides provides the best outcome for the patient. We talk about a paradigm shift that really was leaving behind an old way of doing things and starting an entirely new pathway in jaw reconstruction. And so everything is planned on a computer using virtual surgical planning, which is basically a program where we will design the exact surgery on a computer. And the process starts by obtaining a digital 3D representation of what's present in the person's mouth. I had to get MRIs done, CT scans. 2D x-rays, more importantly 3D x-rays. It's like a handheld device they use and they kind of like took a 3D imaging of my whole mouth inside to have everything like basically virtually constructed for them to do the surgery. All of that data gets married together in one program. A uh, computer engineer helps us design what the jaw should look like, uh, what structures we need to build as, as tools to get there. We'll develop models of the patient and then we'll design where the cuts in the jaw are. Once the surgery started, Dr. Hirsch uh, it works in the head and neck area where he takes out the tumor. I take the bone out of the leg uh, and prepare the bone for transfer to the head and neck area. Dental implants are placed into that uh, leg bone and we put uh, a dental prosthesis, we put artificial teeth on those implants all in one operation. You just don't know if you're ever going to look the same, but they made me look like I never had a, sur a procedure done, you know, like I'd never reconstructed my jaw or I never needed it. I feel great and I think that I look great too. So Tara's back to normal already. I mean, after she did, she did great after a week. Already walking without a, a limp from her leg, she was talking normally and uh, every, sort of everything healed. You barely can see her incisions on her neck. Three months to the day of the operation, we uh, remove the prosthesis, make sure everything underneath is in good shape, and really start the process of fabricating her long-term teeth uh, that'll sit on the implants. The patients that get teeth and are able to smile and swallow and eat food faster um, tend to heal faster. I can do squats, I can do lunges, you know, I can do yoga poses again and it just feels really good to get from where I was to where I am now. All good, Sarah. All good? I know. I tell him all the time he's a genius. <laughs> he doesn't want to take the compliment, but he's a literal genius. And like I said, him, Dr. Brack, and Dr. Noble are dynamic. It's just a wonderful team. It's amazing. And I'm really thankful that they invented something like this because I don't know what I would have done if not.